Hey, what's up, everybody? For the request of many, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this video. And what it is is basically how to set up Virtual DJ Pro with uh, the Pioneer DDJ SX. There's a couple things you'll have to do on the hardware side and the software side. On the hardware side, what you'll have to do is update the firmware. Uh, once you update the firmware, you won't have to do any special procedures to be able to make uh, Virtual DJ communicate with Pioneer DDJ. In other words, you would just power it up just like if you're using the uh, Serato DJ software and be able to use it with it. So, um, I know that some people, they had issues where uh, only the left deck was working and not the right deck. I'm going to show you a walkthrough on how it, it's really easy to fix that problem. Um, so, you know, just to show that everything works, uh, we'll uh, kind of walk through real quick. Uh, okay. Alright, uh, let's do this. Let's drop down the volume on that and let's go right to the nitty gritty. I'm going to shut this out or close it. <clears throat> First thing you'll have to do, like I said, is the firmware update on the unit itself. Once you accomplish that, uh, go ahead and power off your 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 uh, unit and bring it back up fully. And uh, what you'll do is you'll go online before you do anything else. Go to virtualdj.com and bear with me because I'm doing it one-handed. Okay. Once you go to virtualdj.com, um, <clears throat> you'll actually go to download. You'll go to where it says. Uh, let's see, let me try to focus here. All right, you go to download the download section and then drop down to where it says plugins. You're going to go to controllers. All right, and you'll log in. So in my case, uh, let me just uh, log in real quick and then I'll get back to you. Okay. All right, once you log in, It'll bring you to a page like this. It will be welcome, whatever your name is. You'll go to controllers, and uh, the controller we're going to get is this one right here. It's Pioneer DDJ SX version 1.02B uh, by Phantom DJ. You'll grab that one, <clears throat> and uh, since we're doing it for Mac, we're going to grab the download for Mac one. This one right here. Click on it. And I've already kind of walked through it three times, so it'll just show like uh, install Pioneer DDJ SX. Anyway, you'll double click on it, you'll be presented with install Pioneer. This is an application. Are you sure you want to open it? It's uh, internet based, it's just a typical warning. Go ahead and say open, and what it'll do is it'll uh, say installation successful once completed. Once you're done with that, then what you'll do is you'll go and launch uh, Virtual DJ. Here it is. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty. There's Virtual DJ. Uh, my version is 7.3 right now. Uh, the reason why I get this error is because uh, of some database management that I was trying to do, uh, playing around. So I kind of messed that up, but uh, you shouldn't have that error. It should be straight and good to go. And make sure your Pioneer DDJ is on. Once it's on, then uh, the next thing you'll actually do is you'll go to over here your config tab. And when you hit config, you'll go over here. All right, inputs you're going to have set up as none. Let me try to see if I can get this more clear. There it is. On outputs, you actually have to do two settings. You'll do headphones, do this one first, uh, external mixer. All right, you'll set it up as deck one, channel uh, one and two, <clears throat> and then deck two, channel three and four. Okay, once you do this, then you'll go to headphones, and then you'll change it to master, channel one and two, headphones, channel three and four. And what that does, it enables you to actually pick uh, your headphones uh, the way it's supposed to be so <clears throat> the next thing you'll do is uh, for sound card you'll do the four out card and make sure that you have the Pioneer DDJ SX set up you'll go to apply and you'll hit OK once you do that then you're able to <clears throat> oh I gotta go over here uh, see I gotta just grab a 
MP3 or MP4. This is a video, so uh, it's going to give me another error saying that the video driver is not set up. And what it is is I don't have my video uh, output set up right now. So uh, these are all MP4s. <coughs> all right. So search strip is uh, functioning. There it is. And we'll go to the other side. So both of the search strips work. Uh, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Volumes up and down works. So now one thing I will say is Virtual DJ is pretty much auto calibrating. So if you um for instance, for some reason you have volume all the way down and you hear it, you know, uh, like the volume come up or whatever. All you have to do is put your crossfader all the way up and drop it back down or your trim up and down. And uh, it'll zero out to where it needs to be. In other words, it finds itself in the middle, which is really cool. This is something that most softwares don't do. Um, but, so, just to show that... Feature called Auto Roll. Slicer. Sampler, I haven't stored anything in the sampler, but. So, uh, uh, another thing, okay. The uh, low pass, high pass filter. The low, mids, and highs. Instead of uh, going negative 26 as it's labeled here, it actually goes down to zero, so which is really nice. Um, your trim, you know, it's adjustable. Um, your, let's see what else. Up faders, cross faders. All the important stuff that really matters works. Uh, your tempo change. So, uh, anyway, this is just like I said, a quick walkthrough, and hopefully, it uh, showed you how to set up your uh, DDJ SX with your favorite uh, virtual DJ Pro software. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up and uh, I'll walk you through uh, or help you out. All right, take it easy. And the PC version, I'll probably drop that within the next, I don't know, two hours or so, whatever. All right, this is DJ Esco. I'm out.